All right. Welcome to Matera, and this is Il Palazzato, residence and winery. We are actually staying in a cave. And how cool is that? Let's check in and check this place out. It was an easy drive to get here from Polignano. About an hour and 20 minutes is what it took. But key tip here is make sure you get here before 8.30 p.m. because it is a limited traffic zone. So you wanna make sure that you are mindful of that. And we are checking into our super cool hotel, which is the Palazzato Residence and Winery. What I'm hoping is that we will have laundry service at the hotel. Was this stanky? <laughs> Build those muscles. Oh, oh my gosh. Feel like a mule. <laughs> Which is probably the former method of transportation here in Vidana. I would guess. Oh my god. Are you sure you don't want me to take oh, my own? <laughs> this will actually be the first shoot I lose weight. <laughs> Whoa! Did you get that? <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> you got the long legs. <laughs> I did, but this is pretty convenient. <laughs> All right. Get closer and then do some. Yes, because we are in the circle center, so. So, Il Palazzato, see? Si? Il Palazzato. Il Palazzato, my Italian, <laughs> no bono. <laughs> and let me just tell you, this place is stunning. Yes, and this was an ancient house of the Sassi, and that was a stable for animals, because people lived uh, with animals in the past, until 1952. Wow, yes. fantastic. That's Down there was the horse yes, stable. today is the breakfast area, but in the past was uh, a stable for animals. And all the rooms outside, and they were ancient houses. Wow, this is yes. fabulous. How old is this? Well, how old is the hotel? Uh, two years. Okay. It's very new, but... The location is very old. Yes, the location wow. is very old. Grazie. After a long day of driving, this is perfect. Beautiful carafe of water with fresh lemon. It's nice to do the B&Bs, but it's also nice not to at times. Welcome to Il Palazzato. Il Palazzotto is spec 
spectacular. I am literally walking around in not only a cave, but in the former home of animals from hundreds and hundreds of years ago. This is how people lived. They lived in a cavernous area like this. The animals stayed here. The people were behind me where reception is. This is fantastic. And this is probably a place I want to spend more time indoors than outdoors in Matera. Anna, I think this um, might be quite an enjoyable stay. And what is your name? Uh, my name is Bora. Bora. And I'm uh, from Albania. I live uh, in Matera since I was uh, six years old. Years ago. Okay. Sorry, but I'm not. Oh, you look great. You look, I mean. <laughs> so what are we having for breakfast tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow we have uh, a continental uh, breakfast. breakfast. Or, um, but not hot. Okay, cold. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, um, uh, can I tell uh, in uh, Italy? Si. We have si, salumi, Italy. formaggi, eh, dolci, torte, wow. uh, meringhe. I tell in Italy. So caffè, so. cappuccino. Oh, I make cappuccino, caffè, caffè americano, uh, caffè latte. <laughs> Excellent, <laughs> magnifico. Espresso. And then this is where we have breakfast. Mm -hmm. Or you can also take uh, your uh, food and uh, go outside. Oh, great. Yeah. How nice. We have the terrazzino. And uh, the terrazzino, it's uh, also for um, the, the afternoon to have uh, aperitivo. Uh, aperitivo. Yeah. Perfect. Because we are a residence and winery. So we have uh, <laughs> great. We have uh, six wine, five red, and wine uh, white. Chardonnay. And from Basilicata, the wine from Basilicata. Yeah, Aglianico del Vulture. And these are the individual rooms. So when you stay here at Il Palazzotto, you actually don't stay in; you stay out and in. The rooms are literally outside here in this beautiful courtyard area. So let's see which one ours is. All right, the long anticipated entry to our beautiful room. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Immediately upon entering this room, the smell, the scent is so fragrant and clean like linen. I don't know, the smell is so beautiful. Yeah. Really beautiful. Flowers. Mm. Uh, this is Yor. Okay. Here about the air conditioning. And uh, here you find coffee and tea. Okay. That you can make by yourself there. Beautiful. That you can make by yourself here. And two bottles of water. All this is offered by us. If you take something from me, but that's the price list. Okay. Also for the wine. But the waters are free. Yes, all okay. the water is free, yes. Wow, is this so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Well, this is romantic. A little too romantic. Oh, yeah? Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. gorgeous. Look at this. Have you checked out the bathroom situation? <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> No door on the toilet. <laughs> well, I thought this rotated, but it does not. So, um, it's gonna be like this. Oh my god. <laughs> well, should you get used to this? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and did you notice the shower? Hi, dear. Oh, wait. And Anna, when you want to get up, are you know, just. <laughs> Close your eyes and turn your head. Oh my god. It's very sexy. So let me tell you guys, this is a honeymoon hotel, and we are not a couple, <laughs> but we're gonna be tonight. <laughs> oh my god, Lord. <laughs> yep, so we have a beautiful queen bed, a ton of snuggling, a ton of close time. We have this beautiful shower, wait for it, right by the bed. So Anna just no peeking. And... Oh, I like how you're like, Anna no peeking. Maybe, Anna... <laughs> maybe what we could do is we can go true old school style and you can be my little Italian woman and make my coffee in the morning while I'm taking oh, my shower. No. 
<laughs> honestly, honestly, joking aside, this is a super romantic hotel. And if you are looking for the perfect honeymoon suite, I mean, you are literally now in a cave and your room is in a cave. It's super cold, which I'm totally enjoying because it has been absolutely hot, hot, hot here in Italy. These shampoos are in the stone. And you literally take a shower here in the open. It is hot. And I don't mean that weather-wise, I mean that sexy-wise. It's a pretty hot shower. And the commode, European. And the floor with the pavers. This room cost about uh, 300 euro a night and it's worth every penny. Uh, if you're looking for this kind of experience, there are absolutely inexpensive B&Bs that you can go to and stay at. But <clears throat> the reason why I chose this hotel and the reason why I chose to break the budget a bit on this uh, overnight was because I really wanted to feel Matera. And while there probably are ch less expensive options to do that in a cave, I think this is an extremely elegant and unique place to stay. And I wanted to show you guys. So I'm doing this for you it's and maybe a little bit me. <laughs> It's beautiful. <laughs> it is, isn't it? We could watch scary movies later. Okay. Skeleton keys are a thing here in Italy. We are on our way now to have some wine here at Il Palazzotto, which is uh, renowned for not just being a fantastic hotel stay at, but also a fantastic winery. So we definitely want to try some of the wines from Basilicata tonight. And we're going to see if uh, Bura is here Bora. to, Bora, Bura, either one of you, is here tonight to help us. Buonasera. <laughs> Are you ready for us? No, I'm not. Oh! Oh, it's uh, just like... It's just for... Yeah, where, are you... Yes, I am. You are? <laughs> yes, I am. She gave me a scare <laughs> because we are ready for wine. You remember my name? Bora. Okay. Right? Do you remember mine? Uh, uh, Mark uh, Felice. Felice? Oh, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I found you through, on Facebook, on yeah. Instagram. Yeah, oh, good. And I saw our video. Good. And? Our video. Yes. Okay. Uh, and on the Costa Amortitana. See? Oh, great. Did you and like it? I like it. And also on uh, Napoli. Okay. okay. That's our big and video, then... Napoli. Stop. <laughs> well, you need to go home and binge watch tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this is certainly the place to have a glass of wine. The view is spectacular. The terrace here is incredible. We're going to do this. What is that? Tonight, I want to taste wines from Basilicata. So we have come here to the winery at Il Palazzotto to truly taste Basilicata in every way. So I'm super excited about the little taste that we're going to have tonight. Okay. And when you guys are in Matera, you need to come by to Il Palazzotto. We have... Um... All Alienico del Vulture, red wine, okay. Nostos. Where's the winery at? Where's the, or where's the vineyard? Do you know? In Basilicata. In Bilis. It's Lucana. Are these red wines? Yeah, yeah. all uh, red wines. All red. And uh, we have only one uh, white. One white wine. Really? It's, uh, okay. And uh, Chardonnay. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love Chardonnay. <laughs> Yum. Okay. I'm going to let you take the lead. So whatever you think that we'll enjoy, we'll taste. Okay. <laughs> so I give Torali, Torali, pepperoni, focaccia. <laughs> you made him Marco Felice. Marco Felice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy. You made me very Felice today. <laughs> <Grazie. laughs> okay, Alright guys, we are about to begin our wine tasting and some sampling of Matera traditional foods. Does not get any better than this at Il Palazzotto Residence and Winery. Taralucci from Atero. This one, Peperone Crusco. Wow. I have been wanting to eat these. Are they hot? 
they spicy? Are, no, they are uh, um, only dry. Dry. And they have uh, oil. Okay. Okay. It's a uh, uh, typical food of Matera. Really? Yeah. Yes. Also taralli. And uh, I I are, are typical of Matera, the taralli. Yes. Wow. With finocchi. Finocchio. Finocchio. Wow. <laughs> I love that sound. Mmm, <laughs> it smells delicious. Wow. It's very, uh, very fragrant, very deep. This is going to be a strong red, my kind of full bodied red. So? Excellent. Excellent. It is excellent. Uh, the, um, it just hits my tongue perfectly. And Anna can do a much better job explaining the wines than I can. But um, it's, it's very fragrant. It has a almost like a blackberry flavor to it. A fruity. Yes. Little it's fruity very, flavor. Yes. Little. Uh, not, yeah. Well, I wish. No, but. It's fabulous. And what is the name of this? Arcidiaconata. Arcidiaconata. <laughs> yeah. 2013 Radino. Wow. The wine here is fabulous. It is a 2013 Arcidiaconata, which I've done my best to pronounce. And it is here a home wine from Il Palazzotto Residence and Winery from the vineyard in Basilicata. And again, that's a region here in Italy. And we're going to have this paired with two traditional foods in Basilicata, and that is the tarale, which I love, and then the peperoncin, O, which is a local specialty again here in Basilicata, in Matera. And they are uh, the, it looks like dried, fried, or roasted. It looks like they're roasted in a little oil, and they're the uh, chili peppers. Ooh, super spicy to the nose. <laughs> so imagine taking a uh, your crushed red pepper seeds. Imagine twisting off the cap of your um, crushed red pepper seeds that you put on pizza or put on something. And that is exactly what this smells like. Hopefully I don't burn myself. Mmm. Mmm. It's very good. Slightly salty. Literally just slightly salty. Um, smoky. Peppery. It's really interesting and I uh, guess I've never had this before. It's really, really good. The uh, pepper is dried and it is uh, probably roasted in oil and then dried or sun-dried and it's delicious mm. Mm. very good sure. and we need to talk about the tarali because these are some of the most delicious tarali i've ever had totally homemade and i want you to see this I love how unique this tarali is because it actually has whole fennel seeds in it, mm. which is truly unusual. And you can tell it's homemade by looking at how beautiful and airy, dried the inside is. It's not something that popped right out of the bag, but it's something that's gonna pop right into my mouth. 